People's Tribune Radio, brought to you by People's Tribune Newspaper, a monthly published in Chicago. Today's program is from the pages of the January 2015 issue. An editorial, Walmart Poverty Wage Workers Energize the Movement. Please listen. As Walmart workers, we are sick of struggling to put food on the table while our hard work makes the country's wealthiest family, the Waltons, even richer. That statement of one Walmart worker summed up the sentiment of Black Friday strikers in their fight for 15 in more than 200 cities across the country. Indeed, this sentiment is evidenced by a sign over bins in a Cleveland Walmart store this holiday season that reads, Please donate items here so associates in need can enjoy Thanksgiving dinner. Walmart is the single largest private employer worldwide. Super exploitation of their workforce has grown the Walton family fortune to $150 billion. That equals the wealth of the bottom 42% of Americans combined. Last year, $6.2 billion in federal dollars went to assist Walmart workers who couldn't afford food, housing, and medical care. At that same time, Walmart captured 18% of the food stamp market. All this amounts to tax subsidies for Walmart's profits, hidden behind aid to workers it put in need. These workers are part of a new, growing, impoverished section of the working class for whom hunger, homelessness, and absolute destitution are a constant threat. Gone forever are the better-paying industrial manufacturing jobs of the past. The assembly line powered by human muscle and brain is being replaced by the computer and robot. This phenomenon continues to spread to industries everywhere. Even in the service sector, fewer and fewer workers distribute more and more goods. The effect is that full-time work, once the norm, is becoming part-time, contingent, and temporary. This is reflected in places like Walmart giving so few hours to workers that they can't survive. Add to the list the theft of wages by making people work through their breaks, and unsafe working conditions like pregnant women forced to climb up ladders with heavy boxes. Punishment for those who speak out against all the abuse clarifies why striking Walmart workers who feel they have nothing to lose but their chains are energizing the movement. This is not simply about the greed of one family. The Walton family is one example of an entire class. That class grows its wealth and private property by exploiting human labor. Yet it is their thirst for maximum profit that is replacing human labor with less expensive, more productive technology. The result is the polarization of society into extreme wealth and bone-chilling poverty in the midst of plenty. Historically, the ruling class has promoted charity to improve their image. But by their own admission, the Waltons don't do charity. Instead, they manage an associates in critical need trust which is completely funded by employees through payroll deductions. In other words, workers are sharing what little they get so that the least among them can survive without any contribution from their exploiter. The imaginative one-day fight for 15 strikes are demanding from the exploiters more of the wealth the workers produce. The sharing and bold stance by these impoverished workers offers a glimpse of a possible future. Now imagine a world without exploiters altogether, where the entire wealth of society is shared among us all. More than simply fighting for a wage increase, this movement represents a section of the working class that has been robbed of a future in this economy and is at the forefront of fighting for a new society. They are fighting for the right to survive and thrive when all the other options have been taken away. Read what people are doing about it on the front page of the People's Tribune website and in the People's Tribune newspaper. Or visit us at peoplestribune.org or call 800-691-6888. Join us in the fight for an economic system that meets the needs of the people by subscribing to the People's Tribune and ordering bundles of newspapers to give to your friends.